We conduct these screenings at the immigration court. You see us standing in line going through security. Yes, this is a posed shot. Um, our regular volunteers, we do get special security badges. Your attorney card will not get you into the building and pass security. This is a policy of the government. Security administration and the FBI is in the building. There's a lot of foreign nationals in the building. Everybody goes through a TSA-like check and none of us are pre. In other words, you have to take your shoes off, your watches off, your belts off, don't wear a lot of metal, put your jewelry in a case and put it on later. Um, it, you have to always allow time to get through security, whether you're a pro bono lawyer or you're one of the, the, the young people appearing in the court. This is a picture of the ceremonial courtroom where Joe observed us in action um, doing one of our monthly screenings. As I said, we're now doing them weekly. That the picture, the faces you see are all law students or attorney volunteers. Our model is to always have an attorney do the screening. A law student is not admitted to the bar, and although they may know more than you do, we, we always have a lawyer sitting with them in a screening. Sometimes we have an interpreter, a lawyer, and a, a law student working together. Try not to overwhelm the young people. We usually begin the interview with the adult that brought the child to court, but then we separate them and interview the child separately after some trust has been built up. Our normal screenings are 45 minutes to an hour, and based on those screenings, we prepare an assessment memo for you. With that assessment memo, we're hoping that we can identify the appropriate legal strategy of securing status for this child in the United States. We find that 80 to 90 percent of all the children we meet qualify for an immigration status, such as permanent residence, eventually, in the United States, not because of any special new laws, not because of President Obama's discretion, but because the existing statutes on the books protect these children. This is the opposite of what you may have heard in the news this summer, or even the administration saying these children will be sent home quickly. Under our law, international and federal and state, we have obligations to protect children who are in our society, and many of the children will qualify for relief. Here's just a note about how quickly these cases are being scheduled now. 21 days after a child's charging documents are received by the court, they will be appear before a judge. Some people thought the children wouldn't show up. There was testimony in Congress, they're all going to flee, they're, all ne they're not going to appear. We're finding a very high rate of, of appearance. Maybe out of 30 kids scheduled, one or two will not show up. And we often find it's because they haven't received the documents yet. I met a woman yesterday. Her son arrived in August. She came on her own to the immigration court anxious because her son has received no paperwork about his hearing. She keeps calling the 1-800 number that they give you to say when your hearing will be, and she, does, she wants to be sure her son comes to court when he's obligated to. This may be counterintuitive to you, but as I'm explaining, if they come to court, not only in New York are we providing screenings and lawyers and trying to recruit pro bono lawyers now to then complete the case, Judges themselves will turn to an unrepresented child and mother or child and grandmother and say, turn this hearing to your advantage. It's scary right now. We're challenging the right of this child to remain in the United States. But I assure you, said Judge LaPrest, most of the people who come before me absolutely do qualify for relief. But only if they know how to navigate the complexity of what we're about to talk about. This is just a list of the organizations here in New York, including the law firm of Chadbourne and Park, that have been organizing the surge dockets. Some of you may say, that's something I would like to do. Maybe in your other cities, you would like to volunteer. I'm going to be honest with you. We'd rather you took cases. It'd be lovely to have some help some days on the surge dockets or on the screenings. But what we really need is to be able to promise a child a lawyer. However, if you'd like to observe court to learn more about the procedures or observe screenings, that can be arranged and we're happy to help you do that. Claire is now going to take over to talk to you about um, trauma and how to work with this community.